As you become more familiar with the GTN, you'll find that most functions can be accessed with just a few flicks of the finger. To make touchscreen data entry even easier, we've built in a bezel along the sides of the screen and a finger rail at the bottom of the screen for hand stabilization. Garmin's touch technology is designed to minimize accidental data entry due to fingers skipping or sliding across the screen in response to the aircraft in turbulence. Notice the small arrows between your active and standby comm frequencies. This is letting us know that we can flip-flop the two frequencies by touching the active frequency. If we touch the standby field, we now have the opportunity to enter our frequency with a keypad. If we take off from Aurora, Colorado, and they tell us to contact Denver Approach on 125.25, we can just press 1, 2, 5, 2, 5. We then have the choice to immediately set it as our active frequency by touching the transfer soft key, or we can press enter to set it as our standby frequency. For now, we'll hit enter. And when the time comes, just touch it to make it active. Here's the same sequence done on the GTN 600 series. The same process also works on the NAV portion of the display. Now, let's take a look at some of the advantages of the touchscreen on the Direct2 interface. We'll press the Direct2 button, and now we can tap where it says Select Waypoint. This will bring up a keypad screen to enter the airport code. Let's say we're heading to Salina, Kansas. We simply tap K, S, L, N, in the bottom corner is a soft key that says enter. We'll press that, then hit activate, and we're off to Salina. Because of the smaller display size on the 600 series, entering letters into it is a bit different. At the bottom here, we can touch a block of letters near the one we want to enter. Or we can also slide our finger across these smaller letters until we reach the one we're looking for. Then we can select the specific letter we want from the larger set just above that. So as you can tell, using the touchscreen is often much faster and much easier than using the knobs.